A scientist burned an almond in the lab and found out that it raised the temperature of 100 grams of water, 71 degrees Celsius. So that gives us our delta T. We want to find out how much energy was released by that almond. So we've got to use our specific heat equation. Q equals C times M times delta T. And of course, delta T was our change in temperature. The specific heat of water is always the same. It's going to be 4.179 joules per grams times degrees Celsius. And our mass of our water, since we used 100 milliliters, is going to be 100 grams. So with all three components of that equation, you should be able to solve for Q by just plugging it into the equation. So let's do that. So it's going to be 4.179 times 100 grams times 71 degrees Celsius. Notice the units on for C. It's joules divided by grams times degrees Celsius. When we solve for this, the grams and the degrees Celsius will cancel because that's our delta T and our M, leaving us with joules, which is a unit for energy. So there's our full equation. I'm going to plug that into the calculator and solve for Q. Our unit's going to be in joules. Okay, so we got 4.17 9 times 100 times 71. And that gives us this huge number, 29,670.9. I'll round that up to 29,671. And that is in joules. That's how much energy was released by one almond, calculated by the scientists in the nutritional lab. And that's how you solve for Q using the specific heat equation.